Good afternoon guys, I'm Paul the Tech Giant and today I'm going to tell you what I feel are the worst things about this 65 inch Samsung AU9000. Now to keep it fair I have also done a best things about it video and I will leave a link to that in the description because I believe that you should know both the pros and the cons. Right let's get straight into it then with the first worst thing about this TV and it is definitely the worst thing about this TV and that is the sound. Now uh, let me just rewind this back a bit and turn up the volume and it is nasty. I don't know how well that is coming across on the mic, let's just turn it up a bit more. Oh, it is bad, it is bad. Now, uh, don't just take my word for it. Mrs. Tech Joints here, how bad is the sound on this TV? It's awful. It, say that again. It's awful. It is awful. I gotta say, it's probably one of the worst sounding TVs I've ever had the misfortune to hear. I mean, it is a very slim TV to be fair, so you're not gonna expect great sound, but yeah, it's not the best and I would definitely recommend a sound bar if you are looking to purchase this TV. Oh, right, let's swiftly move on then because I don't think my ears can take any more of that. And uh, I just want to point out that it may sound even better uh, coming through your speakers because it is going through my microphone which may improve the sound but you know Mrs Tech Giant even came uh, up to me one morning and said what is going on with that TV it sounds absolutely terrible she thought it was broken honestly it's uh, really bad but anyway moving on and uh, yeah the next worst thing about this TV is the viewing angles now as you can see looking straight on like this it is a very fine image indeed but sadly when you move off axis it does start to then lose its color and its brightness it seems to really dull down as we can see we come back in look at that and we go back round and it really drops the further you go round the dingier it gets which is a shame again it does actually look even worse in person so uh Obviously we've got some strong uh, daylight coming through there, so it's a little bit awkward to show like that, but I'm sure you get the idea. So yeah, if uh, you want you know, good viewing angles, then uh, unfortunately they're not that great on this TV. Now this next worst thing is something that many of you might think is a bit petty, but it's something that just grates on me, and that is the logo. So yes, we have this Samsung logo, but it's set off to one side. I just think it ruins the aesthetics of the TV. I mean, don't get me wrong, the TV is very nice looking indeed, but they should have just put it in the center. It would have then been all nice and equal, but just set off to the side. I just think it's, it's almost like an afterthought. They've just said, you know, where are we gonna put it? Just chuck it on the end there, that'll do. You know, you want it to look symmetrical and it doesn't. And uh, yeah, that's the next worst thing about this TV. Now this next worst thing is something that I know a lot of people find frustrating when it comes to Samsung TVs. Now at the moment I am watching a piece of 4K HDR footage and it does look very nice indeed. But this TV does not support Dolby Vision which is a real shame and that is the same for all of these Samsung TVs. Why Samsung will not adopt Dolby Vision? Um, well, I'm guessing it's just down to money, but it is frustrating for the consumer because I know a lot of people out there do wish that Samsung would support Dolby Vision. So uh, yeah, that is the next worst thing about this TV. Next up on the worst things list, is to do with the design of the TV. Now, like I said before, it looks very nice indeed, but uh, some people may be disappointed to find out that it is in fact an all plastic affair. So yes, uh, some may think that it's a metal bezel, but no, it is in fact all plastic. It's got a film on there at the moment, but yeah, it's 
an all plastic bezel on there. So if you are looking for a uh, decent quality made TV, then uh, unfortunately this isn't the one for you. But at the end of the day, you get what you pay for and you're not gonna expect a high quality build at this sort of price point. Finishing up now then, and the last worst thing about this TV is that it doesn't have any 2.1 HDMIs. So uh, I've got an Xbox Series X hooked up, and uh, as you can see, it says your TV supports 4K at 60 hertz, but it then says below that your TV setup doesn't support 4K at 120 hertz. And there you have it then, guys. Now, if you have appreciated my honesty in this video today, do us a favor and spare me one second of your time to give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more honest videos like this in the future, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. So thanks very much for joining me today, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.